Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and today we are talking about the lovely story of how I, uh, I crashed my car this Christmas. I was alone in the car, and it was just an unfortunate situation. I didn't hit anyone, okay, don't get me wrong, no real damage was caused, other than the psychological, emotional, and physical trauma that my poor, poor 2009 Honda Civic had to go through. So, just F in the chat. <laughs> Poor, poor Honda Civic. So, I actually, uh, I managed to crash my car a little bit on Christmas, Christmas Eve. I, I don't know, man. So, here's the story. As you all may or may not know, I'm a Canadian man. That means I live in the Canada. It is like minus 30 to minus 40 degrees Celsius here right now. It has been snowing pretty constantly the past week or so. Week and a half, maybe. So, all of the snow is, like, packed down iced over, it's fucking awful, okay? Absolutely terrible, panic on the streets, right? Anarchy, fire everywhere, right? People are taking their clothes off, running around. God, it's insanity. So, it's uh, it's currently not the best driving conditions. So, uh, naturally, I still need to drive around to get places, right? So, I was driving home one day when uh, the the unfortunate happened, everyone. I took a turn. During this turn, there was there was a lot of a lot of snowy ice on the turn, and uh, my wheels my wheels went this way, but the car the car went that way. So it was like, Bee! so unfortunate situation. I uh, I Tokyo drifted my 2009 Civic hard into a curve. I, w I could have been going slower, but, you know, I probably hit it going a solid 20 kilometers an hour, so, you know, a little, little fucking bad, but, good news everyone, I'm alive. I'm not dead. Didn't hit anything hard enough to pop any sort of airbags, like, obviously, right? It was, it was a turn. It was a turn where I was, like, already going, like, moving, so it was, you know, it wasn't a straight, like, 90 degree angle turn, no, 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 it was like a... Like, right? Like, usually a yield type of right turn where you just uh, uh, do a little curved right. But, oh dear god, the curve turned into a, a lot of a, a lot wide, wider angle of a curve than I really wanted it to be. It did The curve was supposed to go like this, and it went like, went like this, and uh, kinda, kinda broke my rim. So, I, I hit the curve hard. I only hit it with the top left wheel, right? Because if you're taking a left and you, you're you taking a right, sorry, you're just sliding. Top left wheel just fucked slammed into it. At this point, I was literally two minutes away from my house. Like, right, like, three more, four more uh, blocks to my house. Right there. So I was like, well, okay, I guess I'll drive home and assess the situation in the morning. It's pretty late, not like I can do anything right now. Uh, no one would be open to fix a car tire at, like, what? Eight, seven, six. I don't know what time it exactly was. It wasn't too late, though. I was like, nah, it's holiday season, not time. We have another car in the garage. My uh, girlfriend's dead old Sunfire that can barely function, but it functions, so whatever. We'll take that out. Next day, I go, I take a look at my car. I take a look at the front left wheel. All the air's gone, right? Tire rim, fucked. I took a look at it. Like, you could see the area of impact. Yeah, it was just, like, nice and just peeled up. Just, like, a little peeled up. So, no chance that I'd get another tire on it. But the good news, my tire, like, the physical winter tire, because I'm Canadian, I have winter tires, they were fine. Like, the tire was fine. No damage on the tire. It was only the rim. Didn't seem to break any other part of my car, right? I took my car in to get inspected, fixed up, etc. Got an oil change because I was on like 7,000 kilometers, almost 8,000 maybe. Don't worry about it. So, you know what? Maybe this was a blessing in disguise. Maybe this was God being like, Ayo, idiot, take your fucking car in and get an oil change. Ayo, guess what? Slide into a curve, motherfucker. So it happened. One rim, $400 later, and I have my car back, my wheel is all there, my new rim, my tires back on it, oils changed, filters, tar uh, brake lights back in, my car actually had a couple issues with it. Fun fact about my car, 
They also took the muffler off because they were like, yeah, this is just hanging there. What? The, why is your muffler just hanging there? And I was like, oh, someone cut off my catalytic converter. I just didn't care to do anything about it. I was hoping maybe one day it would just fall off. Just, you know, be just a, you know, accident in, in blessing in disguise. Uh, probably not a good idea, but hey. I was assuming it would fall off maybe in like a car parking lot when I hit a hit a speed bump. It would just like get ripped off one day. It never happened though. So turns out they cut it off for me. So now I have a muffler in my trunk that I can't use because I, I don't want to straight pipe it or put any money into my Civic. So now I just have my, just no muffler. Just no catalytic converter, no muffler, nothing like that. Ah, shit's for losers. Um, yep. My car, the first year I got it, I was hit and ran uh, when I was like parked at work one day. Just came back and... A quarter of my front bumper was gone because I got hit in the front. Yeah, so that was cool. Ooh, today my girlfriend was also driving my car, and she parked too close forward to, like, the stopping point and ripped off a little bit more of my front bumper. Fucking Christ. My car, I love, I love my Civic, but this thing is honestly beaten and abused so much, and it's not even my fault. Almost always. It was this fault my time. All right, this time, mine, my bad, okay? Shouldn't have slid into a curb, medium, whatever. So, that is the story, of everybody, of how I absolutely fucked up my car over Christmas. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Just thought we'd have a small morning story time today. Have your morning coffee, have a smoke, have a whatever you do in the morning. It's, it's mainly coffee, let's be real here, right? So, thank you all. Subscribe. We did hit 100,000 subs, so I'm going to be just taking it a little easy, chilling, streaming, making random videos over uh, until the holidays. As you can see, I, I've just been calming it down after all the new war hype and new uh, Christmas holidays and all that. So, now I'm just, just chilling a little bit, so thank you all. It's been a really exciting, crazy month, and uh, I will do my year-end YouTube review probably in... Probably on the first or second, but I should do a 2021 Warframe year-end review talking about the updates and everything around that. So, thank you all for watching and joining. I'll see you next time. Sub and check out all the content. And always, if you want to help the channel, the biggest support is surprisingly sharing any of my content to anyone. Or, like, on any social medias. Sharing is, like, generally the biggest help. So, yeah, if you do that, thank you all so much. I appreciate it, and I will see you next time. Peace.